Hey everyone, what's going on? Rob here. If you haven't heard already, on the current PTB, the test server for the new changes, Deathslinger got nerfed pretty significantly. Um, he had changes, some positive, some negative, but mostly negative. So his terror radius has been increased from, I believe, 24 meters to 32 meters. This means that he will not really be as stealthy. He won't be able to get as close before people realize he's there. And this also means his synergy with monitor and abuse. Um, it'll just be 24, his old terror radius, instead of what used to be 16. So a little bit of a nerf there. Um, you won't be able to get as close, which sucks. But the significant nerf is that he has been changed so that you can no longer quick scope. You now have to wait until the ADS, the aim down sight, is fully pulled up, which takes about half of a second to do. And this gives survivors a significant opportunity to react. Now, in a lot of my games, I notice that if you try to quick scope, good survivors will see as soon as you pull up the gun and start juking. They did slightly increase his uh, aim down sight movement speed. So you won't lose as much ground. They also increased the amount of time that it takes to lower his gun before you can attack. So faking was also nerfed. So these changes really, really hurt him for a couple reasons. First of all, I think really they should have just made it that it takes much longer to pull the gun down um, and that you shouldn't be able to cancel it. Um, taking away his quick scope, it's not just a matter of making it so that survivors can have counterplay. I think that, that was good. I think the problem is that without the quick scope, he cannot use his power in some loops or he cannot use them as, as successfully anymore. Um, in some areas like Killer Shack, you really needed to be able to instantly fire to catch someone before they break line of sight. So we'll see how annoying this is. Um, after a couple playthroughs, it feels pretty bad. You basically have to aim, then they can start juking because they know exactly when it's coming. Um, certain really tight loops without LOS, you just can't do anymore with his power. It's pretty unfortunate. He got pretty just nuked into the ground overall. But there was a positive change as well. The positive change is that his stun duration was changed from four seconds to three seconds if he um, breaks his chain on the survivor. Now this is interesting because we have two add-ons. One, decreases the stun duration by a second, the base shore is cigar, and two, decreases the stun duration by 0.5 seconds, the chewing tobacco. Now interestingly enough, if you combine these two add-ons, the stun duration is 1.5 seconds. This means if you hit a healthy survivor and you pull them all the way to you and then try to position them in a way that maybe they can't run efficiently, you then take 1.5 seconds of a stun, but you don't have to clean your blade off. So it's essentially a weird, different kind of save the best for last effect. It is surprisingly effective and it allowed me to get a couple downs. Now the problem with this strategy is that you would have to reload if you want to use your power again. So really it is about catching someone and essentially instant downing them when they're caught in the open. Before what you had to do was you had to hit them with the mouse one and then you had to hit a clutch shot from ranged. Now you can just kind of drag them away and you'll catch up to them very, very quickly. This is surprisingly effective and the Bayshore's Cigar Plus Chewing Tobacco are kind of the sleeper perks right now and what they allow you to do. I don't know if they'll be effective against good players who kind of understand and understand how to play against it, but so far it did get me some pretty big dividends on the PTB, and I'm going to show you some clips right now to show you how strong this could potentially be. No one's on that gen. Oh, what? Wait a second. That's actually kind of strong. What? So that's a problem. <laughs> okay, we forced that, which is good, because she did not have to throw that.
Sick, dude. Sick. Big plays, dude. Big plays. Huge plays. Huge plays. He will probably get there in time. Ooh, he's not going to get there in time. Oh, my God. GG. That was a huge play we had right there. Basically, we... And that that's a barbecue and chili win right there. And she ran a little bit into the wall there, so we did gain... Damn, that's kind of nuts, dude. That's kind of nuts. And that's exactly why I did that, by the way. Isn't that so cool?